huge, huge, huge elm trees. And, and I'm told that when they're planted, they, they don't look nearly as, as uh, that huge. And uh, they're kind of fall, small and flimsy looking at, at first. It takes them about 100 years or so to really get somewhere. But when they do, they've got a root system established for about 100 miles. I, I mean, the root system is deep and long. A hundred miles or more of root system. Root system is necessary to, for the tree, the other plant, to receive the nutrients, so forth, that it, that it needs. Various elements for it to grow, to survive the, the harsh weather and so forth, so on. Root system, a hundred miles or more. Now, now, that's just a natural example, but the, what the Word of God is showing us here is that, that it's possible, catch this, it's possible, it's possible for your and my root system, it's possible for your and my root system to actually not be taken advantage of. No, no, I know you thought I was going to say it's possible for our root system just to be weak. No, no, it's, it's not to be taken advantage of. See, because we're not born of the seed of man. We're born <laughs> of incorruptible seed. Glory to God, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And once you and I receive Jesus Christ into our lives, we become, as the scripture says, new creations, and the root system is not, just guess this, it's not a matter of miles, it's a matter of dimensions. Ah, glory to God. No, no, it's not a matter of miles, it's a matter of dimensions. It's a matter, of, it's a matter of understanding that the root system is not just fleshly. It's not just natural. A lot of religious folk ain't picked this up yet. It's not denominational affiliations. It, it, it's not ethnic groups. It's not that kind of stuff. It's not, no, 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 no. The, the root system is spiritual. Glory to God. And, and we are able to glow from glory to glory, from one dimension of understanding in the spirit to the next. Now, here, here, here's the deal. The root system is there because Jesus is in you and me. You say, what in the world are you talking about, preacher? Uh, I'm glad you asked that question. I'm glad you asked that question because, see, we're not here just to pump you up and fill your head with a bunch of emotional stuff. The real deal is you're going to deal with some really crazy stuff when you leave here today. You're going to live with some crazy stuff when you leave and you deal this week, next week, the following week, and the Lord don't come back for a couple more thousand years. We're going to deal with some stuff, but you can deal with it if you understand the multi-dimensions of the real system. His ways are past finding out. Glory to God. He's sovereign God. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, Paul talk, talked about this in Ephesians chapter 3. He called it the multifaceted wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Well, that, that's not that important when you compare the price, you know, of a Final Four ticket today. But the truth of the matter is, when you understand, <laughs> yeah, I know it's much more value to spend $700 to make sure your team wins than it is to really necessarily get into, you know, some of the stuff past rate talking about up in here today. But the truth of the matter is, after the Final Four is over, you know, and after your boy wins, you know, if it's Florida or whoever else it's going to be, when that's over and they become grandpappies. You're going to need this multidimensional root system in God. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, this, this, this is supposed to, I'm supposed to keep my voice down. Okay. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy. Help me. Yeah, you, you, you're going to need it, see? And see, part, part of the reason why a lot of God's solutions are rejected is because we don't really understand that our goals are in conflict with God's goals. And so when he brings us something that's worth $10 trillion and puts it on our plate, we don't think it's worth much because we'd rather live our lives trying to make a million. See? Doesn't mean much to us. See? Doesn't mean much to us because we're so earthbound. Mm -hmm. We're so earthbound earth bound natural fleshly center this is this, this, the here and the now it's, it's the woman I want the man I want the kids I want the job I want the promotion I want that's that's what life is about it's the 
promotions I want. It's the opportunities that I'm living my life to secure for myself and my posterity. See, that's what it's, it's about what I'm going to do for my kids. See, it ain't about nothing eternal. It's about what I'm going to do for my kids. The beans they need on the table. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I can give them something that I didn't have. Earthbound. And so this, this, this multidimensional root system in God, what's, what, what's that for, Pastor? Uh, what's that for? Is that going to help me get some money? Is going to help me get the woman I want? Huh? going to help me get the man I want? Uh, uh, what's that for? Uh, uh, what's that for? Pastor, do you understand how much I'm hurting today? Do, do you have a clue how much I'm hurting today? Do, 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 you, do, do you understand, Pastor, that, that all I really need is love? I just need somebody that understands how much I'm hurting today. D don't you understand, Pastor? Rooted and built up in a hymn. There is a point in time when the hugs and kisses are needed and when the finances are needed. But if, if you and I aren't rooted and built up in him, taking advantage of it the way God wants us to, we will, we will, we will release an affection and a devotion and an attachment to the hugs and the kisses and the finances that really belongs to him. 